Hello, YouTubers. Welcome to Johnny's Nasdaq channel. In today's episode, I'm gonna talk about how to install Mac OS Big Sur 11.6 into VMware Workstation. Just、uh, two weeks ago, I made a video for Mac OS Mojave 10.14. Image installed into VMware Workstation. Just recently, I got the Big Sur 11.6 version. In today's video, I'm gonna show you the installation steps and test it in the VMware Workstation. The steps gonna be similar as I did for my Heavy 10.14 version. You can find out the link. Also, you can find out the installation steps. In the video description, let's start it. If you watched my previous video, you will notice this post about how to install macOS into Windows VMware Workstation. I was using Mojave ten to fourteen as an example to show you the whole process. You will find the blog post here, which is this one. What you need is a couple of the software. You do need VMware Workstation, and also we need the unlocker from a GitHub project, which gonna extend your VMware for Mac OS installation. Of course, you need to have Mac OS installation image. Which I already post link here. I will put more link later on. For the unlocker, you also can download it. This source code I already downloaded that.、Uh, as I showed you before, if you haven't used the unlocker to unlock VMware the capability to install macOS, you won't see the option on this window. Since I already installed it before,、um, then I can directly start into create a new VMware. This、uh, Mac OS heavy image here.、Um, I do have Mac OS Big Sur 11.6. This image. Let's、uh, choose that. It's a CDR image. Then go to next.、Uh, as you can see, once we install the Unlocker, then you will have this Apple Mac OS X option as guest operating system. The current version 11.1, and we are using 11.6. I don't see this big difference. It should be fine. For the unlocker, once you download it, unzip it, you will find that the Windows installed a CMD file just to run as an administrator, which gonna go through all steps. Stopping the VMware service, backing up files, and then getting VMware tools for macOS, and then they're gonna start in the VMware services. I'm just showing the whole step. Since I already installed it, the whole process is very fast. Else, it's gonna take a couple minutes to get the right image to download it for the VMware tools. We can press any key to continue. Doesn't work, so I just close it. And still in this screen, so、uh, we have a new VMware machine wizard.、Uh, so we're gonna pick Apple Mac OS X, Mac OS 11.1, which is latest one. Change it to the six since we are having the six、uh, image.、Um, I'm using eighty gig. It's fine. You can store virtual disk as a single file, or you can split it into multiple file. Doesn't matter.、Uh, only thing customize the hardware. You want to give a little bit more memory. Usually, I give eight gig of memory, and also probably you want to give four cores. Other settings you can keep exactly same as before.、Uh, for the network adapter,、um, maybe you can change it to the bridge. I will see an AT sometimes. Because the service wasn't started fully, the DHCP service wasn't working properly, then you may cause in the IP address issue. Just choose and bridge it. That should be fine. Finish it. 
Let's power on this virtual machine. The CDR image has been booted. Okay, we get a language screen. Uh, let's uh, go to the next step. So before we can start to install Mac OS Big Sur, we need to wipe the disk, what we have there. As you can see, we have VMware Virtual SATA hard drive, and that is 80 gigabytes. What we're gonna do is erase it. Just erase it. Format, thumb, close the disk utility, and now we can install Mac OS Pixel. Continue. Continue. Agree. Agree. Choose the disk. Continue. So now they are doing installation. It's going to take about 18 minutes. I will come back once it's finished the installation. System has been rebooted once. Now it shows about 29 minutes remaining. So we're going to continue wait until next installation screen shows up. System just rebooted the second time. The third time it's reported. After waited almost uh, forty five minutes, finally we got this window. We're gonna choose the country. I'm in Canada, so I'm gonna choose Canada. The mouse is very laggy at this moment. Continue. Not now. Continue. Not now. Let's do setup later. Skip. Agree. Continue. Continue.
continue. Continue. Let's wait system get into our Pixar desktop. We got our finder and our docker is here as well. Let's eject the disk. So after we logged in, one thing we can tell the screen is not maximized because we didn't install VMware tools. So we're gonna try to install VMware tools for Mac machine. Unfortunately, this option has been grayed out. Actually, we can do it differently. We can directly go to VMware, download inside to download the VMware tools package for Mac OS. It's only 2.72 megabytes. Very simple and fast to download. Inside of it, there's um, ISO file inside of it. We can just extract it and put it into the folder and mount it manually to install it. That's what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm gonna go to the VM settings. I'm gonna mount the this image, ISO image, into machine and select connect. The VMware tools to show up by itself after mount it. You can double click to run it. And then just follow the installation wizard to finish the installation. It does require you for the username, password. Um, we need to allow this package to be installed. So that's why we go to the security and the privacy settings. We need to pick allow. Click lock and uh, enter the username password. Unlock the settings and we do allow. A restart is required before new system extension can be used. Okay, let's do restarting. Cancel. That's okay. Let's restart the macOS Pixar VM. So system rebooted, it's logging using the username password we entered before during the installation. We double click on it, continue. Hopefully this time everything goes well. We do see the screen has become larger and the mouse and uh, keyboard all responding much faster than before. So assuming last time it's already been installed, but um, make sure you just reinstall it again. Finally, installation was successful. It does asking you to restart your machine again. But that's pretty much everything I want to show you in today's video. You can check this machine's configuration from about. It's a Mac OS Big Sur version 11.6. So everything looks fine here. So that's it. That's uh, everything I want to show you in this video. How to get your on Mac OS Big Sur in your VMware workstation for testing. Thank you for watching. Please give me a thumb up and 
subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.